So we've got our comp now set up. It's basic comp in our scene. We've got back shadows. We've got reflections. We've got a clean media plate. So it's looking pretty good. So now we can think about outputting it. And there's a variety of different options for that. So we're going to output from the top comp. It's worthwhile saying that if you have a more sophisticated composure setup, you can actually output from the individual layers. So for example, in this case, you could just output from the background element if you want to output that to another compositing software. But we're going to output from the top comp. In every single layer, the output options are the same. So if we go now to top comp, and composure output we're going to add an array element obviously we see here we have the option to set resolution so that's important we've done this as a 1080 so this is our output resolution you can increase this obviously the higher you increase it the more performance drop you're going to see because you're rendering a lot more pixels so now when we add this output Pass. this gives us a bunch of different options so we've got compositing media capture output so that is for example sending out to a capture card we've got exr file so that is actually rendering out individual exrs we've got the owl ndi and spout output passes so that's actually a direct output to spout or NDI. We've got the player viewport compositing output. So what that's going to do is when you go into runtime, that will render your comp direct to your Unreal Engine viewport. And then we've got the render target compositing output. So for people familiar with Composure, you've probably got already set up an SDI output using a capture card via the media capture output or for example with the player viewport compositing output you can render to movie render queue we're going to look at the owl outputs in this case so if we look at the NDI output pass so that's very simple we just have these typical NDI options we want in this case to select UIVY as the color format we have this pass name output pass zero and if we open up ndi studio we can see this output coming straight out and similarly if we change this to a spout output pass so for example you could spout out to obs for broadcasting or alternatively recording and again if we open up spout we can see this output spouting out now there's a very important point here, which is that Composure sits on top of an Unreal system called Scene View Extensions. And Scene View Extensions are used, for example, to render landscape. It's mainly landscape. It's also used, for example, for DLSS. So there's a couple of things. So it's not a lot. But if you are using landscape, DLSS, those are the two real important things, then you will have to enable in your OWL elements this. So we go, in this case, our background element, off world live capture settings, render settings, render scene view extensions. So I tick this on. And for matte, again, I need to this on and settings now when I do that the issue you're going to see is that my output so if I go back to my NDI output will now need to select UIVY for NDI. This will now be flickering. So if you're not using scene view extensions, so you don't have landscape in your scene, 
then just select scene view extensions off. If you are using scene view extensions and you want to output via spout or NDI, that's fine. You just need to do it using a render target and the off-world live spout or NDI sender managers. So what that would look like in this case is we do a render target output and we create a new render target say final comp and we just want to make sure that that render target is set to the resolution we want by default in composure it won't set to that resolution so you need to do it manually even though your resolution is set here and so now we've got this render target what we can do like normal is we can go to place actors and we actually have an option of three different outputs. So we've got the NDI sender manager, we've got the spout sender manager, and we've got the our media output. And they can be used for different things. So in each case, let's say we start with the spout sender manager, all we're going to do is select the render target from composure so this final comp render target and we can call it composure make it active and you know, if we set up our spout receiver we can now see this render target coming out and notably there's no flickering so you can see if you use the render target output there's no flickering if we wanted to use the ndi output in this case the same go to the ndi sender and select the render target same story and the media output again we can select the render target and in this case actually we've got the option of direct streaming to rtmp srt or RTSP direct from Unreal, or this save to file option. So in this case, if you want to save live takes, so this isn't so much for saving your final comp out, but which you probably might want to save by movie render queue or something like that, but just a live take in the studio, this can be a very useful way of doing that. So that's a, a final output.